Hi guys, Lindsay here with Storybrooke Family Farm. Yesterday was such a freaking long day. Um, it was just one thing after another. Um, it just, it pretty much, all the bad stuff all happened in the morning with the finding the snake in the living room um, and then the rabbits escaping and all that stuff. That was all the bad stuff that happened in the day. Um, everything else was just a lot of work. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, every day that we're here pretty much is a lot of work, but that's our own doing. Um, but yesterday the work took a lot longer than we thought it would. Um, so after Tracy got home, I had her help and Willie help to install this new door on the side of our house. Um, it was actually just a piece of plywood when we bought the place. Um, and it was like two inches too short at the top. So we had thought, hmm, I wonder if maybe that's how the snake got in. So we changed the door. That was actually on the agenda for this weekend that we were going to get the door put on. Um, we had already had the door. Uh, we got the door, I think it was just last week. Um, we'd been looking at Habitat for Humanity the entire time that we'd been here, um, that we had owned this place. So, you know, the past month and a half, um, but we couldn't find it. Like everywhere that we went and looked and all that stuff, they just kept not having the right size. So we finally, my parents found it. Um, so that was, that was a huge, huge relief. Uh, but we're assuming that that's probably actually how the snake got in was just through that big crack in the door. Um, cause actually when we, when we first got, got this place, um, there was a lot of like, uh, squirrel poop inside of the house. Um, so we're assuming that, you know, there's also some rat poop too, but the squirrel poop and rat poop actually looks a lot alike. Um, but we're assuming that squirrels were in there, um, partially because there was some weird nest type thing. Um, a bunch of large birds flying overhead. So this big shadows, I get distracted by everything. Um, <laughs> I actually was a good student in school, surprisingly. Um, but anyways, so there was these weird nests inside of the cupboards, actually, that had, like, sticks and branches and moss and parts of shrubbery in them. So that's what makes us think that there were squirrels in the house. Um, but so today, yesterday I also got the um, gate for the garden built, and I installed it, and I got it painted all before Tracy got home from work. So it was extremely busy. Um, but today, after I took Willie to school... Uh, I stopped by Tracy's mom's house to pick up the rest of our plants. Um, so I still had like some elderberries there, a American high bush cranberry there, some hazelnuts and some herbs and my echinacea flower. Um, so that took mm, close to three hours to walk around their property to dig it all up and then find pots, put it in pots and then Put it in the car. Um, I have a very little car, so it's kind of hard to transport trees in it. Um, it's kind of like playing Twister to get it all in there and to get me in there without having a tree branch like batting me in the eye. Um, my car is also a stick shift, so you have to really make sure that there's enough room that you can maneuver. But um, I also got this area over in here. I got it all weed whacked um, to try to make it so that way it looks less inviting for a snake. Um, and I did the back side of the house too, but that's not, that's not all that exciting, um, or nice looking. The turkeys keep making a whole bunch of chirping noises. Um, it actually sounds kind of nice, but they're really, they're really loud with their chirping. So we can sometimes hear them in the house as if they still are living in the house. Um, we have a rabbit actively giving birth, Babs is, but right now she's taking a, taking a break, um. She's not very, very happy that it's such a warm day that she's giving birth on. She's still got plenty of water. I just want to make sure. But I figured I'd show you guys the garden gate um, since I got it done. Got it installed. Um, I do have to add another hinge. Um, I only have one on in the center right now because I couldn't find any other ones. Um, so I'll have to look for some more. That's the hardest part, I think, about moving when it's like the beginning of gardening season and everything is there's so many things that I want to get done, but like so much stuff, like I'm like, I don't even know where this is at. So it takes you a lot longer to get stuff accomplished and stuff built and stuff done because you're like, crap, where's my tools? Where's my screws? Where's my hardware? So it's, it gets kind of frustrating. Um, just sort of constantly searching for everything. Um, so our plans today, uh, I got all the plants dug up, got them all here. 
I actually put them in the spring over by the spring so that way they can really get rehydrated um, because it is a really warm day um, it's currently I think like 79 degrees um, so it's a very very toasty sunny day um, the plants are really stressed out right now that I have just uprooted them and moved them um, and had them in the car so I'm letting them cool down and rehydrate with the spring water uh, and then I'm going to plant some of them today like this evening once it's cooler out. It's really nice because the garden area is full sun until about like 5 36 o'clock because then the, sh the sun goes behind all of the trees over in there uh, so it gives gives some shade so that way when it's really really sunny and hot and miserable I don't have to be out in it but I can still get a lot of gardening work done. Um, for those of you that, that don't know me in real life I am extremely pale and I have a lot of issues with the sunlight um, like my eyes are very sensitive to light that's why if it's sunny out I pretty much always have a hat on uh, otherwise I'm all like super squinty um, but I also have issues sometimes where if I'm in the sun for very much time I actually will start feeling really sickly so the fact that this this house has has it so that way in the evening I can be in the garden and be fully in the shade it is like amazing um you know and i have i have some of them sun some fancy sun shirts um that i can wear sometimes but if it's really hot then some things are just miserable because they're really hot uh i'll show you guys the turkeys so they're they're about four weeks old um the one right over here i don't know if, if it'll show up on camera but um he's definitely a male uh, he's got, his head's getting all red, and he's getting a more redder neck uh, than everybody else. So, and he actually, like, will, like, puff up and stuff. Like, he's, you know, a big turkey man. So, it's kind of cute that at that same, at that little size that they still are like, I'm big. So, it's kind of funny. Um, so, that's all that's going on right now. Uh, after I get done with this, I have to go finish unloading the car, because I have some random stuff that was still at Tracy's mom's. Um, that I had to get. We have just like some really random odds and ends stuff still there. So it's just every time we go there or drive by, we try to swing by and grab stuff if we're not busy. Um, but after I get done with unloading the car, then I have to go get feed and then come back and work on planting stuff. So it's just continuing on of daily homestead chaos. Um, eventually, <laughs> I know that it's going to get better, but it's just kind of crazy at this point with how much we have going on just to constantly just keep running and stuff especially on fumes because like last night because we were all freaked out still about the snake issue um like to be honest I was even freaked out still and I am not afraid of them as you know um so we let our little dogs sleep in bed with us and one of them has long hair and apparently it must have been too hot in there for her because she was up and down like all freaking night panting and running around the bed and all sorts of stuff so I'm on day two of not very much sleep, so hopefully tonight it'll be better. Um, that dog is definitely not sleeping with us tonight because I can't deal with another night with Lucy. Like, I just, I can't. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm going to get off here so that way I can get some stuff done um, before Tracy gets home. So, all right. If you guys are enjoying this content, please give my videos a thumbs up. Share it on your social media if you think you have friends that might enjoy the content. I got poison ivy on all, all over the back of my leg. Um, so it's very itchy. That's why I keep like bending over because I got it everywhere. Yay. Uh, but so if you guys are enjoying this content, please give it a thumbs up. Share it to your social media. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel to help us grow. It would mean a lot to us. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.